Welcome everybody to this quick resource which looks at developing uh, an understanding of the Pythagoras theorem. This particular resource has just got three problem solving puzzles in it that I like to use with the learners to reinforce some of the work they've been doing around the Pythagoras theorem. The first one is around distances between objects, the second one is navigating, and the third one is integration of objects. Again, they're quick, do with them what you will, uh, make them new and fresh. This is just how I've used them in classrooms. Here's one of them, and I thought I'd just share this with you. It's something slightly strange, but I've found it highly effective. If you were to go on the internet and look up, you know, problem solving puzzles using the Pythagoras theorem, you'd find uh, probably hundreds of problems. But here's one I found works really well for engineering students. Usually I set this up uh, in terms of a story completely made up, of course, about a robbery or some such thing to keep them interested. So here's the problem. Uh, there's two cars bumper to bumper and they both drive away from each other 1.5k. They both turn left and travel 2k. And, uh, and of course the story is something like they've got a boot full of money or something like this, and we're trying to catch them. Now the question I ask them now, the learners, is how far away are those two cars from each other? And this often stumps the learners and they don't make the connection to the Pythagoras theorem instantly because uh, they're not seeing the triangle in there at this point. So often they'll say things like, well 4k and you know so on, and we get them to discuss whether they think 4K would work or not, and it must be further than that. Eventually, we can overlay a right angle triangle and they begin to see it. Some of them say things like, is it as the crow flies, you know, or is it a straight line between them? It absolutely is. And uh, I'd get them to draw that line in and they can begin to see that it's a diagonal. And uh, so once they can see that it's a right angle triangle, then uh, we can just derive the length of the side. So we know that the bottom is 3K in total and the side is 4K. And, uh, and then we can just apply our Pythagoras theorem to this problem. This I've found has been very useful and I often get learners to come up with their own problems and give it to their friends and so on and see if they can work it out. And of course it makes the students feel pretty good because they're sort of initiated into the secret knowledge, you know. Now another thing I like to use in classes are the coordinate sheets. And what I do is I hand out a sheet like this to the class and I ask them, usually at random, to put two dots you know, to circle two of those dots somewhere. So for example, here and here. And I like to tell them that, uh, you know, this is how the nav man system works or navigation works. Uh, we have two dots. We might imagine that these are two ships on the ocean and we're trying to work out exactly how far apart these two ships are from each other and that we're going to use the same process that a navigation system would use, which is to use the Pythagoras theorem. So I ask them to connect those two dots with a line, and this of course is our hypotenuse, and then to draw in a right angle triangle. And they could draw the right angle triangle in any way they like. Uh, you know, it could be the opposite to this or not. But the point is that they've now constructed for themselves a right angle triangle, and the distance between the two objects is the hypotenuse. And now it's just a simple method of, you know, calculating what the hypotenuse is. And so we could turn this side into a square, we could turn this side into a square, you know, and calculate what the square areas of those are. This bottom one is, um, four, it says four meters squared there, but actually, you know, this could be four miles squared, it could be four centimeters squared, and you would decide that with the learners going in. Nine meters squared, so now we're set up for our calculation. Four meters plus nine meters is 13 meters squared, and of course, the next trick is for the learners to um, work out what the square root of that is, which this activity really allows you to do to explore that a bit more. And so what I do after doing this is I let them individually draw some dots and begin to work it out, and then maybe ask one class to come and do it at the front of the class. One final thing I've done which has been really successful is simply to shine this up on the whiteboard or project it using a data projector. And, uh, and use it on the board and ask the learners to come up with scenarios. You know, here are two things that are far away from each other. How do we calculate how far they are and let them do the work? And working as a whole class uh, and being able to see it on the whiteboard has been really effective. So that's another activity that I've found really useful. Okay, so here's one other activity that I like to do uh, just to provide a little bit more variety for the learners around understanding the Pythagoras theorem. Uh, what we have in front of us is a crate and uh, one side is three meters and the other side is four meters. And again, you can play with these uh, units, do what you like. But the problem is we need to ship this crate 
uh, overseas with an object with a pipe inside it that can't be cut. And uh, the pipe is five meters. And so the question is for the learners, how are we going to ship a five meter pole or pipe um, when our box is only three by four? You know, how do we actually do this? And this is just another variation on a pretty common problem solving uh, puzzle that's been around for years in terms of trying to sneak uh, a five meter object or a, you know, a unit of five um, into an area where you only have a crate which is three by four. And of course this is all two dimensional. If you wanted to make this a little bit more complex you'd go three dimensional. That would be interesting. But of course the answer is, um, you know, if we sit it long ways then our five meters becomes the hypotenuse and can fit perfectly within that three by four crate. And a lot of learners, for a lot of learners, this is just a new concept that there's actually more space within the within the crate uh, if you go diagonal. And again, it's just you know showing them different ways about how the world is made up of triangles, and uh, and they're really useful. So there you have it. Three quick activities that you can do with the learners problem solving. Uh, one of the great things is that the learners often take these home and try them out with their friends, which is awesome. Uh, but three extra ways to try to um, integrate or link what they've been learning in their engineering classes with the outside world and trying to see new applications for the Pythagoras theorem.